I am Donna Cash. I've got a motorized Roman shade that is powered by an Artec automated motorized shade tube by Roly. It has a Li-Ion rechargeable battery within the motor. I have just put the system together and now I'm ready to program the remote control. But the first thing that I need to do is to pair the motor in the shade tube to the remote control that I'm using. So I'm going to take a small implement and I'm going to press the small implement into the P1 button on the motor head until the motor responds. Within two seconds, I need to press, to press the stop button on the remote control until the motor responds. The motor and the remote control are paired and the motor is ready to be uh, programmed. So the first thing that I'm always going to do is I'm going to check the direction of the motor, meaning when I press the up button, the, the shade should travel up or the down button, the shade should travel down. So I'll press the up button and I'm gonna look from behind. Okay, great. Now, I uh, press the up button, the shade uh, traveled in the up direction. If it had not, in order to change the direction of the motor, all I would do is press the up and the down arrow at the same time until the motor responds. And that would check, change the direction of the motor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set the upper and the lower limit. And in order to do this, I'm going to move the shade into the uppermost position. And then I'll press and hold the up button until the motor responds. Now you'll notice when you are first starting to program your shade before you set the limits, a short tap on the button or the arrow will move the shade incrementally. A long hold on the button will raise the shade or lower the shade. However, you need to press the stop button in order for the shade to stop because the shade doesn't know to stop until you set the limits. So I'm going to continue sending the shade into the uppermost position that I would ever want this shade uh, to travel. Let me just kind of dress it a little bit. It hasn't been dressed. It's not quite sure what I want it to do. That's a little bit too high. So now I'm going to just press the down button. And when I get it to that uppermost position, I'm going to stop. And then I'll press the up and the stop button at the same time until the motor responds. Okay, two jogs and three beats. The motor is, has now been set, or the remote control is telling the motor that this is my uppermost position. Now I'm ready to set the down position or the lower limit position. So again, moving it down, a short tap will just move the motor incrementally or move the shade incrementally, where a long hold will um, send the shade down. But before the limits are set, I'll need to stop the, the uh, shade. And then I can dial it in again, just by pressing it. I'm gonna send it down a little bit more. Okay, and when I get it to that lowermost position, then I will press the down and the stop button until the motor responds. two jogs, three beeps. Now I've got the uh, lower limit set. So I'm going to just test it out. I'm going to push the up button. Now the shade stops in the uppermost position. And when I press the down button, it will send it all the way down to my lowermost setting. Now, 
you may not want the shade always in the uppermost or lowermost position. So you'll want to set a favorite position. To do this, move the shade into the favorite position, your favorite position, and stop when it gets to that point. All right, I want it a little bit longer than that. There we go. Okay, so this will be my favorite position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the battery compartment cover on the back of the remote control. Inside, there's a P2 button. I'll press the P2 button until the motor responds. Okay, and then on the front of the remote control, I'll press stop, and then I'll press stop again. Now I've set the favorite position. In the future, to move the shade to that favorite position, all you will do is hold and press the stop button for about two seconds. So let's move the shade to the lowermost position. And let's move it to our favorite position by holding and pressing the stop button for about two seconds. Okay, so now you have paired the motor with the remote control. You've checked the direction of the motor. You set your uppermost, your lowermost, and your favorite position. Now it's time to lock the remote control. There's a lock button on the inside of the remote control. You're going to press and hold that. There's an LED light that's going to be blinking that tells me it's not locked. I'm going to hold it until it becomes solid. There, now it's solid. So now I know that the programming of this remote control to this shade has now been locked. Should you want to take your shade back to factory settings, it's really quite easy. But first you need to unlock the remote control so we'll press that lock button again until the LED light starts to blink. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's blinking. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the motor head with my small implement and press and hold the P1 button for about 14 seconds. Okay, so I got four jogs, I got four beeps. Now the motor is reset to factory settings and I can reprogram the shade all over again. Wasn't that easy?